Good afternoon. Happy Friday. This is Sean LaBelle of the Decker Hewitt Group. Uh, it was a negative week here as markets were a little bit rattled following Wednesday's minutes release of a hawkish U.S. Federal Reserve. Of course, nothing has really changed in their commentary in the last few months, but we did get more detail now on this balance sheet runoff. Uh, some of you might recall the U.S. balance sheet right now sits around $9 trillion. They nearly doubled that following the COVID-19 pandemic in early 2020. So they're now letting that sort of uh, fiscal relief run off. And that's going to come in the part of around $95 billion per month, most likely starting at the end of next month. We're going to have a little bit more official commentary on that on May 2nd for their actual May meeting. But markets were just a little bit unsettled by this sort of tightening. Uh, so it's important to understand right now the U.S. Federal Reserve is going to be tightening this loose monetary condition in two forms, one being the obvious one and rising interest rates. The other one is going to be reducing liquidity in the form of that balance sheet runoff. So for the last two years, the U.S. Federal Reserve has actually been a net buyer of bonds into the financial markets, which has been sort of providing a little bit of backstop in terms of liquidity uh, while well, that is going to be ending, but it's not necessarily something that was unforeseen. Uh, they had also been letting the balance sheet run off in 2017 through 2019. So we've been here before. Um, so anyways, markets were a little bit just unsettled by this commentary. We had also rallied a little bit, probably too aggressively in those prior two weeks. Uh, we did recoup more than half the losses that we've seen so far this year in those major U.S. benchmarks. So that was a little bit too fast. Uh, it's generally a little bit better for markets to sort of consolidate slightly higher, not those sort of 10% rip your face off rallies in just two weeks that we did witness. In any event, uh, this week's Market Watch Weekly runs through all that commentary. Also, it was the uh, Trudeau government's uh, budget this week. Uh, came in actually a little bit more fiscally prudent than a lot of people probably expected. The results, you actually saw the Canadian uh, equities and Canadian dollar rally here on Thursday and Friday. Uh, so we've also got nine points in this week's Market Watch Weekly that just kind of runs through some of the key points that you should be knowing uh, or should be aware of rather in terms of that budget. And uh, we will end it there. Uh, of course, the Blue Jays do kick off opening day here in a couple hours. Uh, so make sure to tune into that as well. Uh, go Jays. Enjoy the weekend. We'll talk to you next week. Cheers.